So I'm going to show you how to use the Material Channel Editor, which is a pretty powerful tool, especially now that you know what's happening behind the scenes with the rays and the OPC MOS, ch uh, ch um, the MOS shader, sorry, and then also the channels, you know, the red, blue, green, um, black channels uh, that we all have. Now that you know those, you understand them, this is going to make a lot of sense. I don't even need to go into theory. Let's just jump right into Unity. Now let's say that we're in Unity. And we've got this pine straw area over here, which is assigned this. It was custom mesh, okay, but I assigned it this pine straw and roots material that you see right here. And again, I don't have my mouse turned on, so let me do that. So I get this pine straw and roots material right here that is assigned to this mesh. And if I zoom into it, I can see that it's got this root texture to it. And you might think to yourself, hey, that looks pretty good. I could use that someplace else. Maybe, um, over here on this tee box, and I'm making this up, maybe there's a tree right here, okay? And you want underneath the tree, you wanna show, you wanna vert paint that same material right here on the screen. And maybe you wanna also paint it on this rough area as well, okay? So what do we do? How can we get that in here? The problem is if I show on, if I enable vert painting on this guy, it's already on, you can see, uh, it's not switching on me here. You can see that that pine straw material that I'm talking about isn't one of the channels in our default T box material. Okay, so this is OPCD MOS T default, and it is it's the regular T box, it's the divots, it's the sandy, and it's the mo lines. Now, let's say we're not going to use the mo lines. Wouldn't it be great if this black channel were this material? from here well we can do that so how do we do it well let's close our vert painter here and let's go we got to figure out this material here um well actually before we do that let's open up the the channel editor so in gsp material channel channel editor i can't talk today is here so what we need to do is we need our source material well where do we want to capture this channel from well, our source material is this pine straw and roots right here. So I'm gonna drag it into our source slot. And when you do that, you can see I got that familiar preview up here, right? Which contains our four channels for this pine straw material. Now let's, let me look at this one. So this is our Moss T default. Now, what I don't wanna do is I don't wanna mess up the default one. Okay, so I'm going to highlight that, and like always, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to Control D, and it's going to create a new default called one, and I'm going to call this one not only one, but I'm going to call it default pine straw, but I'm going to put pine straw in the name too, so I can remember what this one is. So now I've got this new material, and what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go back to this particular T box and maybe it's just this T box we want to do it but we can assign that material to this T box and now when I look at this T box I can see it's got my pine straw and I'm going to update my materials here and you can see that it looks good at this point so but it hasn't really changed right we need to get this red channel from the pine straw okay into the black channel of this new material our default pine straw right here the one we just created. So let's drag that into the destination target material here. And you can see it comes up. And we want to put this red into the black of this one. So I'm going to select red channel, target materials, the black channel, copy source values to target. Boom. Now our black channel of this is that material of the red channel here. So let me close. I'm going to go down to this T box and I can vert paint. I'm going to open up my vert painter. I'm going to go to black and let's see how big my brush is. That's a little, that's fine for what, it's just an example. Now, if I paint black, look what happens here. I can come over here and now you can see, and I could play with my fall off and stuff. Uh, let's make my fall off a little higher. I can play with my fault, but now you can see I can kind of vert paint that in there and I can get a very specific look. I'm not necessarily sure that's what the look I was going for, but 
the whole point of the example was for me to show you how the material channel editor works, okay? Now you're gonna see I can't paint here. Well, that's because that is a blend. So what I might also need to do is I might need to do the same thing through this blend. Ah, let's just go ahead and do it. So if I wanna build a vert paint on this blend, okay, the same way, how would I do that? Well, I'm gonna to have to uh, find this blend material, which is this blend T default. I could make a copy of it, but I'm not, just that you guys know how I make a copy of it at this point. I'm gonna close this, come up here, hit GSP, Material Channel Editor, and my source material is again gonna be my pine straw. Uh, where was that, where did that go? Let's see, I'm gonna do a different way here, OPCD, Moss, Pine, and it was pine straw and roots, I remember that now, well, it's the material, so that's our source. All right, let's go back. Our destination or our target is this blend T default. Put it here. All right, and it looks like we've got this blue that doesn't have, has this gray material in it. I'm not sure why or what that's from. So we're gonna replace that. So let's take red channel here, blue channel here, copy. And now we've got that updated. I'm going to close this. I can open up my vertex painter. And I made that blue. And now what can I do? Well, I can paint that. Take escape, go back to this guy. I was painting this one black, I believe. So now you can see is now I'm able to paint that same thing over both my tea box and my blend. And I could, if I wanted to, I could also add this same channel to the rough and I could actually paint now across three different materials, okay? So that's one use of the material channel editor. You can be creative with it.